Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Shimi Q and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as promised, I have a lot of Quran content to come out with and a lot of the videos that I want to actually do for now are tips, like things that help me uh, when memorizing. So today I wanted to share with you guys my tips on how I memorize very long ayahs. So hopefully this video is going to be of benefit to you guys if you're memorizing. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so we're going to find a very long ayah. Um, or you know what, I'm not going to find a very long ayah. I'm just going to find something that I would consider to be long. So ayahs generally vary in length. And just amma, just tabarak, uh, just kada semi as well. You have more um, of the shorter ayahs. So as you can see, like right here for these surahs, these ayahs are very, very short. And um, the higher up you go, well, I'm, I don't know, like, if you're reading from the back or from the front, but, like, the more you go, like, within the other juz, like, the ayahs become longer. So you guys can see here, and here, and here. So it keeps getting longer, and then some ayahs eventually take up an entire page. Like, I believe there are, like, one or two ayahs that have, that are, like, the length of an entire page. First and foremost... The same exact way you would memorize a short ayah is going to be how you would memorize a long ayah. So don't overcomplicate it, okay? I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to start with Surah Abasa. And as you can see, Abasa has very, very short ayahs. Within, you know, one line alone, it's already three ayahs, right? I want you guys to keep in mind that memorizing a long ayah uh, will have the same steps as memorizing any ayah. Just like, you know, in uh, Jazarma, for example, the same beginning steps are going to be the same. I'm not sure if you guys have watched my video on how I memorize. Within the video, I show you how I break down every single ayah and how I memorize it. So Surah Abbas is actually broken up perfectly because the same exact way that it's broken up here, that's exactly how I would be breaking up a long ayah to make it easier for myself. I'm not going to go ahead and memorize an entire long ayah within any other surah within one go and just keep repeating it over and over again this one long ayah no i'm gonna break it up into pieces and i'm gonna repeat like crazy so what i would do first and foremost is to repeat the first ayah 10 to 15 times while looking in the quran with a reciter now i played the reciter in another video and youtube gave me a copyright strike so i had to mute that entire part of the video from iquran.com let's say i'm going to surah abasa by the way guys this app is free you would think i'm the one that built this app the way i the way i'm advertising it honestly the app is just that good guys it's it's a very 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 good app when you're memorizing the quran there's never a time i'm memorizing and i don't use this app just to show you how much i rely on it so anyways you open the app you press the surah so we're in surah abasa right now you can choose any of the reciters that they have here right so i will choose let's say i choose shatari because that's who i memorized abasa with i keep repeating the same points but guys it's so important for you guys to choose a reciter now it's not like you have to choose a reciter in order to memorize but memorizing i'm telling you will be a hundred times easier for you if you find a reciter that you recite along with um to memorize with because following their tune makes uh, the next ayah a lot more predictable and also it makes the ayah that you're memorizing a lot more memorable instead of you just going along your own tune and of course you add the tajweed to it as well when you're um reciting with one of these reciters like they all recite with tajweed alhamdulillah so let's say i select shatri i'm going to listen to this ayah the first ayah with shatri i'm going to listen to the first ayah with shatri 10 to 15 times and there's no you know good answer or bad answer as to how many times you repeat the ayah Honestly, repeat it as many times as you need. I would say 10 minimum. That's how he says it, right? So I'm repeating that 10 to 15 times with his voice while looking in the Quran. And then when I feel like, you know, I think I got it. I think I got it without Shatri. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to recite it without looking. So oh my, I'm just seeing right now there's a stain. Listen, okay, this Quran has been with me through thick and thin. So like there, it's honestly not in the best of condition but you know we move anyways i repeat 10 to 15 times without looking and then right after i'm done with that i continue on with shatri i repeat the same method right so i go and i press it with shatri that's how he recites it i listen it i listen to it with him and i recite it with him 10 to 15 times while looking in the quran and then when i feel confident without it I don't look in the Quran and then I repeat the ayah 
10 to 15 times even more if i feel that you know i can if i if i feel that i need more times to repeat it and then i only move on when i'm confident don't move on if you're not confident guys i only move on when i'm confident that i can say the whole thing without looking but here's the second step when you when you as soon as you recite the second part of an ayah or as soon as you in this case uh recite the second part of an ayah you have to add it together okay that's the key the key is joining things together you don't just memorize 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 repeat and then you know expect yourself to get it you need to get this in your long-term memory in order for you to get something like this into your long-term memory is repetition okay Cons consistent repetition so i'm going to repeat all of that 10 to 15 times if i feel confident i'm going to close the code ad i'm going to look away and i'm going to recite it 15 plus times however many times without looking until i'm like you know what i'm i can move on so i wanted to show you that example within surah abasa just because abasa in general has very short breakdowns and you can see how this is the length whatever length you're comfortable with but these lengths are perfect for breaking a surah down or breaking an ayah down it it's all about breaking it down and then adding it all together slowly but surely now hopefully you guys understand what i'm saying but now that i've shown you guys a little bit uh of the process with surah Arbasa, i'm gonna go and just find a long ayah in the quran let's see okay guys so we are gonna go to surah i always say surah qadisami it's not qadisami it's surah mujadila okay but we're gonna go to surah mujadila for this example now the last ayah of surah mujadila is pretty long it, as you can see this is the entire ayah right this is the entire ayah of surah the last page of surah mujadila now at first glance it looks overwhelming oh my god how am i gonna memorize this ayah it's so long it is six lines right yeah it's six lines and of course it's not as easy as what just memorizing an ayah and amma right wrong it is you see i tricked you guys see see pay attention it is easy because what are we gonna do we're gonna break the ayah down so starting off i go to my trusted app guys i'm telling you every single thing i do i do with this app okay let's go to the last ayah right i'm gonna be listening to it with shatri uh x amount of times now here's the key i'm not listening to the entire ayah with him i'm listening to a portion of the ayah right and then from there i'm gonna stop and treat it as if it's one ayah. But you have to be careful where you stop in the Quran. You have to be very specific with where you stop because sometimes if you stop in a random part, it kind of won't make sense. That's why I recommend a reciter guy. It doesn't ruin the flow of the ayah in terms of, you know, the meaning. Keep that in mind. Anyways, let's listen to Shatri, how he says the ayah. I have to be careful though because they're gonna copyright me. Wow, I'm so shocked they have the copyright for the Quran, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Shatri stops at Walau Kanu, but that's still very long. So he recites about an ayah and a half. As you can see, he stops here at Walau Kanu. Well, just because Shatri does it in that one breath, we're gonna break it down. Okay, we're gonna eventually do it in that one breath, but we're also we're gonna break it down until we can, we're able to recite it as fluently as Shatri just did. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do the first few syllables that I know that I can get without you know stuttering so right here la tajidu kaumai that's gonna be my ayah you see how short that is that's short like the ayahs in uh jazarma right so we're gonna be repeating this part 10 to 15 times however many times you need to guys right when i feel like i got it i'm gonna repeat it without looking in the quran and then i'm gonna go back to looking in the quran and then Here's the trick, guys. Here's the trick to keeping your memorization and remembering what comes after. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so... Now, when I'm doing the second part, I'm not going to just be like... No, I'm not going to do that because I need something to remind my mind about the link from the first ayah, right? Because if you just do it choppy like that, you're not going to remember. Or at least me, personally, I can't remember what happened what i just recited like 10 to 15 times i need a link so for this specific ayah and in this specific line and in this specific passage right here this right here is gonna be my link so i'm not gonna just be like and then for the next one i'm not gonna be like i'm gonna be like 
Mayumina, you get it? You understand me? Listen. I mean, I feel like I don't make sense. Okay, let me say it again. Let me say it better. Okay, let me say it better. Look. I'm not gonna just recite the first part that did you do ko me ten times and then yo minuna ten times. No, I need a link. And my link for these two parts of the ayah is this part right here. The main right right here. So I'm gonna add it. La did you do ko me minuna? There we go. You see what I mean? So then I repeat that 10 to 15 times looking. You guys know the drill. Looking and then without looking. We're always gonna do the link from the end to carry us to the next part, right? So the end from the from the last part is gonna be the beginning for our second part. Please tell me that made sense. I hope you guys are seeing the link. So now we start from the beginning. لا تجد قوم يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر هو I run out of breath. Oh my God, I don't know how these people do it, subhanAllah. So, so far we have this. لا تجد قوم يؤمنون باليوم الآخر هو Now I'm gonna say يُوَادُّونَ مَنْ حَادَّ اللَّهَ Keep going, keep going. And notice I'm reciting it in his voice because when I recite it in Shatari's voice or Ghamri's voice or Okash's voice or Mashadi's voice or XYZ, Idris, whoever you're doing, you're going to remember. And it's more enjoyable to recite, you know, instead of just reciting, reciting it plainly. I mean, that's if you ask me. You want to do all of that. You want to connect it. Okay, connect, 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 connect. So the Tajidu Komei Minuna right here was the link. Right here was the link. Right here is gonna be the next link. Allah it could be my link. Allah wa Rasulahu wa Lokanu. That's where he stops. So you have to recite this entire thing. You see, you have to keep inching, keep inching until you get to the part where you actually stop with the reciter. Not where you're stopping from the end of the ayah, no, when you're stopping with the reciter. So let's pretend this right here. Uh, after Walau Kanu is like, you know, the, the ayah ends right here, which obviously it doesn't, but you know, we're pretending, okay? Just pretend with me. Baha's right there. Now, what Shatri is going to do again is he's going to say, Walau Kanu Aba'ahum. So that could be my next thing. That could be my next short verse within the verse. So, Walau Kanu Aba'ahum. I'm going to repeat that, looking without looking. And then we're gonna use the hum. Now, of course, you don't have to stop where I'm stopping and using what I use, but I just want you to understand kind of the, the basis of what I'm saying is that I'm using the ending of the ayah from the initial part that I'm memorizing to be the beginning of my next ayah. I just need a link so I can keep going. Now, Shatari stops a few times in this ayah, right? So it's not like obviously he's not going in one go like he repeats even some parts now mind you guys this is going to be a long process but when we're memorizing the quran it doesn't matter if it's a long process all we need to know is if the process works okay if the process works it doesn't matter if it's long or not when i do this regardless of how long an ayah is in the quran i can recite it because technically although it is one ayah i'm breaking it up in parts and i am stopping with the reciter in specific parts um technically and kind of seems so it kind of feels as if i'm memorizing many different ayahs so one last thing i want to add to the video you're probably wondering how you know when to stop right without relying on the reciter per se well let's zoom in the quran this is how i know for for the most part when to stop and we can you know internally in our minds treat treat these signs as you know mini ayahs within the ayah, right? So, what do you see? Okay, what do you see on the top of these ayahs? What do you see? I'm gonna pretend you answered. Smaller letters on the top, right? Very small, and they're scattered throughout the entire ayah for you to know where you can stop. Now, I know you're wondering. Shatri stopped here at Walau Kanu. I did stop here initially, but what I did was I repeated this part. I repeated this, and then I continued on to the next part. وَلَوْ كَانُوا آبَاءَهُمْ آآهُمْ أَوْ إِخْوَانَهُمْ أَوْ عَشِيرَتَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ كَتَبَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْإِيمَانَ وَأَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحٍ مِّنْ وَيُدْخِلُهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْ right here 
use that as a marker for when to stop in the ayah and you can also treat those as mini or invisible uh, ayahs within the larger scheme of the ayah now you can implement this tip with any ayah because more than likely not even more than likely majority uh a good amount of the quran the ayahs aren't going to be this short you get that luxury in uh you know the the first I don't want to say the first three jahs. Oh my god, okay. The last three jahs. I would say it's more of a luxury, but then the more you memorize, the ayahs become a bit more scattered and longer. Some are longer, some are shorter. But you will, of course, overall be dealing with ayahs that have a bit more length to it. So with this tip, you can use to memorize any ayah, regardless of how long it is. There's an ayah, I think it's in Surah Baqarah. I think it's in Surah Baqarah. It's so long. It doesn't matter if you're memorizing that. You can do it with this tip. Just break it down, break it down, break it down, and just keep repeating, you know, with yourself. Long story short, guys, the key to memorizing a very long ayah or a lie, an ayah of any length is to break it down into smaller portions. And then from the ending of the first part of the ayah that you recited, you're gonna wanna make that ending the beginning of the next part of the ayah that you're memorizing and then keep linking it together as you go on until you're done with the ayah. And also for one of my next uh, Quran videos, I actually want to have, I actually want to show you guys how I'm making my planner for my Quran. Like I literally have a planner that I'm going to be sticking with inshallah until the end of my memorization journey um, for the Quran. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it and how you guys can make your own. And hopefully we can be consistent and stick with it and reach all the goals that we're setting for ourselves. And yeah, guys, anyways, I will end this video here and take care. Assalamu alaikum.